What's up guys? This is Jordan with Carolina Outdoors. Um, it's been a while since I've put up a video. Um, we had a really good deer season and a really good duck hunting this season this past year um, for 2017 and 20, 2018. So um, I, I did a little bit of filming but we never really could connect. But um, So um, we killed two mature bucks and a bunch of ducks but we didn't get really any of it on film. <clears throat> so, but I just wanted to make a video today about um, my domestic beetle colony and kind of the setup and everything I have going on with it um, for skull cleaning and um, any type of bone cleaning you want to do. So, um, that's what we want to do today. Um, so, let's get started. All right, so here is my domestic beetle um, container it is a deep chest freezer it's an old one that does not work anymore um, it's two foot and six inches wide by two foot eleven inches tall um, so it's perfect for me just starting out I, I purchased um, 3,000 beetles to begin with and about two weeks later um, I purchased 3,000 more so I will put a link in the description below on who I got them from he was on eBay um, Wild Creations Taxidermy Studio is his name. Um, so um, my experience with him has been real good. So I'll put the link on the description below to his eBay account. Um, but pretty much what I'm gonna be doing today is just kind of showing you my setup and how I did it, um, and all the questions that I didn't know going into this. I'm gonna answer for y'all um, just to help y'all out. All right. So as you open up the chest freezer, here's my colony. They are eating on a white-tailed deer jaw right now. <clears throat> With most of your beetle setups, you want to have styrofoam. Um, these are cotton balls that came with um, my colonies when I bought them. They actually work pretty good um, for like the bedding and the um, they crawl through it and do all the stuff they do. Um, also, you want to have <clears throat> sponges or at least that's what I've found out to be best and what I do with the sponges is you can put water on them you know daily or weekly um, so that the beetles have water they love to drink water <clears throat> but I have two of those um, and I have two of the styrofoam so that they can bed in it and um, molt and do all do pretty much their whole life cycle um, banks on those two things but anyway what, what other things we have are um, right here you can see there's a fan on the outside and what it is it's just pretty much a basic computer fan and I cut a circle out of the freezer on the inside and outside so that the wind the air can come in, comes in on this side, and the computer fan is pushing the air through to this side, and the computer fan on this side is pushing the air out. And I don't use those all the time. Um, I just turn them on as I go, but I'll show you the setup and everything behind the freezer um, electronically. But uh, <clears throat> I also have a GoPro mount right there just in case I want to do a time lapse or anything. But right here, is the thermometer it senses the temperature inside the tank and when the temperature gets lower than what I have it set on this light kicks on and it heats up the um, freezer so I can monitor the same temperature at all times and so below the light I have a um, temperature reading and a humidity monitor and so that's very helpful for making sure your colonies temperature and humidity are where they need to be another thing I did was I had a paper shredder and I shredded off some paper to make um, kind of their bedding and you know just some material they can crawl through and it's pretty much it's about an inch and a half thick which maybe it might be a little too thick um but you know i wasn't really 
I didn't really know, but it's not it's not bad or anything. But I would definitely maybe just stay around an inch thick on my shredded paper. But um, it seems to be working fine. But let's get into the um, electronical stuff on the back. Just and I'll show you all how all that works. But the reason I put this foam in here is just so to hold temperature when I'm not running the fans. And that wire mesh is just to keep bugs out if they ever get up there. But I have not had any problems with them crawling the side walls of the freezer. Now they say these domestic beetles can fly if they are kept in temperatures above 80 degrees. And as you can tell, right now mine is 82 degrees. And that's because I have the lid open right now um, doing the video. But anyway, I've had it up to 84 and they have not started flying. So I don't know how much of that is true, but um, it has not affected them yet. Alright, so what you have to do is you have to be able to control your temperature in your colony at all times. And I advise you keep your colony in, indoors, maybe in a garage or shop or a basement. Um, but anyway, I got the AM Reptiles Temperature Control. And it pretty much, what it does is it plugs into the wall. And this thermometer reading that I showed you all earlier that was suction cup to the sidewall of the freezer it senses when it gets below the certain temperature that you have selected and so if you look here the top numbers are the temperature and the bottom row of numbers are the celsius and so i have mine set on about 85 86 right now and it does fine for me but anyway so this is plugged up into the wall and that's the cord that runs all the way to the AM Reptiles temperature controller. Now this other little rig right here on the side is another outlet that triggers when this temperature controller gets below this, the temperature you have set it on. So let's say you have your temperature set on 80 degrees and it gets to 79. As soon as it gets to 79 degrees, this thing, the thermometer that's inside the freezer will sense that and it will then turn this outlet on. And so what we have here, this brown cord, is the light that y'all saw on the inside. I, I wired up the light, I got the light from Lowe's. I think it was like, ten dollars maybe if that but anyway I ran it through here and so whenever the temperature gets below the temperature I've set it on it triggers this outlet which then turns the light on and so that way that that's your heating source um, but anyway I'll set that to the side because my clip fell which is right here but anyway, <clears throat> all right, so my computer fans are hooked up to a, they are hooked up to a 12 volt, um, actually it is a 120 volt input and a output of 12 volts. And so I just got this from a, I think it was a, charger of some sort that I didn't use anymore and so what I did was I pretty much just stripped <clears throat> the wires on the charger and I wired the computer fan wires that run from the computer fan I brought them all the way around and I rewired them with these electrical clamps and I did the same on the other side for the fan. And so whenever I want to use the fan, I plug this in to the drop cord I have and they run. Now you can hook your fans up to this outlet that can be triggered by the lowering of temperature. 
but I would not advise that because most of the time you're going to be blowing in cold air and you'll never be able to reach the temperature that you want. And so I would advise not hooking up the fans to your temperature control system. So on the other hand, these fans have stickers on these. These computer fans have stickers right here. And so the sticker side is where the air is going to be blowing. Okay, so the sticker side on this fan is on the inside of the freezer so that the when the air can be pushed inside and on this side of the fan where the sticker is is where the air is coming out okay so that's just a quick little tip for y'all Alright guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up on the Domestic Bill Colony video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. Um, I'm going to leave uh, the seller's link to his eBay, eBay account on the description as well. So if y'all um, have any other videos you want, want me to put up um, with anything, um, I'll be glad to help. Um, so if y'all would just subscribe to our channel and maybe we can help y'all and you're hunting, fishing, domestic beetle, taxidermy, any anything will we'll be glad to help you.